Good afternoon and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX remained in the red zone today as it fell by 36.36 points or 0.57% today and settled at 6,308 points. Market turnover was BDT 3.35 billion, which is a decrease of 57.54% compared to the previous trading day. Veximco Pharmaceuticals, Beacon Pharmaceuticals, Orion Pharmaceuticals, Kohinoor Chemicals, ACI Formulations and JMI Syringes from the pharmaceutical sector, Shah Jalal Islami Bank, Al Arafa Islami Bank, and Pubali Bank from the banking sector and the Mijuddin Textiles from the textile sector mainly dragged the market down today. All sectors fell in value today except the IT sector that increased by 0.33%. The pharmaceutical sector registered the highest loss of 1.05%, while the textile sector registered the second highest loss of 0.61%. Five industrial and five pharmaceutical companies were among the top 20 losers today. Nirvana Pharmaceuticals Limited, Bangladesh Building Systems, and Adian Telecom registered the highest gain, while JMI Syringes and Medical Devices, Tamich Textiles Limited, and Aramit were the top losers. Nirvana Pharma and Bangladesh Building Systems are scheduled to have their Board of Directors meeting on 24th and 26th October, respectively, to discuss their financial statements for the year ended June 2022. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Bangladesh General Insurance, Al Arafa Islami Bank and Pubali Bank increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Investors may have shown interest in Al Arafa Islami Bank and Bangladesh General Insurance as they are scheduled to have their Board of Directors meeting on 27th and 30th October respectively to discuss their financial statements for quarter three. There is no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news. September's tax revenue collection growth slowed down to 7.67 year-on-year amid an economic downturn in the country compared to the 19% increase in the previous two months. The decline in imports has resulted in a 1.5% decrease in import duty collection. The government is currently unable to import gas from the international market due to its high price and the eroding foreign exchange reserve of the country and has requested conservative usage of energy amid high uncertainty of the situation in the global market. Shipping gas from the Bhula gas field within two to three months is being considered as one of the options to meet the country's gas shortage. But experts are saying that the process may take at least up to seven to eight months and it will involve multiple other challenges. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.